Well, it's uh, three days later from the installation of the package of bees, and now I'm going to check to see if the queen is out of her cage. To do that, I'm going to have to smoke the hive a little bit to calm them down. This is uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's a beautiful day here. The bees are happy. They're out foraging for, for nectar and pollen. I've seen pollen on them. Now, now what I want to do is uh, open up the top of the hive. So why don't you uh, aim it toward me a little bit, please, and we'll see what we're, we'll see how that goes. First thing I have to do is I have to take off the uh, outer cover, and I'm going to set that down face down because I want to put. You see, I have my smoker ready to go. You see, I want to put the. Uh, let me get my hive tool here. I want to take this frame off and get to those sugar water containers. Okay, so there they are, and I want to try to lift these right up and just without taking them off their platforms. Yeah, they're already starting to get stuck down with propolis. That's okay. We expected that, right? Make sure all the corners are loosened up. Okay, they're loose. Now, I'm going to raise this up a tiny bit, and I'm going to take the smoker tool and squirt inside the hive, see if I can't calm down these buggers just a little bit. I can hear them buzzing like crazy in there. Well, maybe I have to take these off. I'll just set them here upside down. The girls are in here busy drinking. That's good. Let me take this part off. See them in there? They're busy. I'm going to set that over here and I'm going to spray inside the inner cover. Let them settle down a little bit. It's always a good idea to spray them and just let it settle. Now they're all working down into the hives, into the frames. Now I'm going to remove this cover off. And as you can see, this thing was completely covered with bees before I sprayed like that. So we've got some there. The queen is right there, but what I want to do first is I want to take out one of these outside frames. So I have room to spread things out. I can see bees are eagerly working inside there. They're, they're doing their thing, which is really good. But I want to get one of these outer frames out so I can spread them out and I'm not crowding these babies when uh, I pick them up. They're not working on the outside frames yet. They're out here looking at it but they're not drawing out any of the wax. So I'm going to set this right on my, my stand. You see these stands right here? I'm going to set it right here for now. I have one on that side, but I'm going to let you see it. Okay, <clears throat> there's one. Now I'm going to kind of spread these out. I want to get to that queen frame, which is right here where these rubber bands are. 
but I want to give the bees a lot of room here so when I pull it apart they're not being disrupted. It's not a good idea to, to mess with the bees a lot. You don't want to disrupt them. The more you play around with the hive, the, it just backs them up and makes them take longer to get working on other stuff. Oh, good news, people. Good news. The queen is no longer in her box. I'm going to remove this. I think what I'll do is I'll just, uh, I think I'll just set this here on the edge. They're starting to draw the wax out too, that's good. Yeah, she's not in here anymore. You see where the cork has been removed? Remember I had put some uh, marshmallow on that. Hmm. And that's gone now. And you can see she's not inside. So that's perfect, that's just what I wanted. They're busy drawing out frame, which is good. But what I wanna see is, I wanna see if there's any, if we're seeing any young, Actually, the comb is not out very much yet. Not enough to produce young. I'm gonna put this one, oh, I gotta take these rubber bands off. I think what I'll do is I'll just cut them. That's the best way. Plenty of work going on both sides. They're drawing out comb, which is really great. I'm happy to see that. There's one. And two. Okay. You can see the bees on both sides of this frame. They're working. I uh, don't exactly see the queen. They're clustered up so much I can't tell if the queen's on this frame or not. So I'm just going to put her back, put this back in there and check another frame just for the heck of it. She could be on a different frame. There's a frame right here that's pretty loaded up with uh, bees. Maybe she's here. And again, they're drawing out. And I see the heads of bees inside. They may be putting pollen in there for all I know. I don't really see the queen. She could be there, but I don't see her. I see a couple drones. They have very large eyes compared to the worker bees. It looks pretty good in here. But, like I said, I can't see... I'm looking, trying to see if I can see any young being put in. The young should be near the, near the center here. No, they're still drawing out the wax comb. So let me put this back down in. I think it's a little early yet. She's, she's got to be in there. I just don't know where she might be and what she might be doing. Try one more frame here. I see pollen being put in. The girls are busy. That's for sure. There's pollen. 
I can see pollen being put in. Now I'm gonna have to give it some time. I'm not sure I see any eggs being laid. Hopefully they are. Maybe I'll look at one more. Just out of curiosity. see some running around in there with pollen on their legs. This comb is just starting to get put, drawn out. Not a lot on it yet. They have a long ways to go. They're working on it though. So listen, I'm going to close it up. At least the queen's released. That's what I wanted to see. I know she's got to be in there someplace. I just don't know where she's in there. That's good. Now I'm going to take these frames and put them back where they belong. Okay, and I'm going to put this other frame back on. So we know that the queen has been released. I want to center these frames back up. One thing I do want to do while I'm here is I want to put a beetle trap inside here. And all it is is a white plastic tray. And I'm going to put a little bit of uh, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, oil in it, uh, cooking oil. I'll be right back. With the cooking oil, the baby beetles will fall into it and get trapped. It's okay, I'll show you when I come around. This is a beetle trap sets up on the frame and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up I'm going to squirt a little bit of vegetable oil in it I'm going to do this to the other one too and what happens is the beetles will fall into this trap and they won't be able to get out. <clears throat> At least that's the way it's supposed to work. <laughs> I'm going to set it right like that. Okay, well it's time to put everything back on. The girls are busy eating right now. Let's make sure I don't squish any in there. the top like that. Line everything back up. And the feeder goes on top. Looks like they're getting plenty of food, which is great. That's just, just what I want. the pressure before I set it on top otherwise it'll all drain down in there. I don't want that. And if you notice uh, the liquid has gone down so they are feeding off of it. I'll make sure they're nice and straight when I get done here. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Okay, next is the, uh, the deep to protect it. Close it in there. Come on off here, little bugger. Square it up. <clears throat> and now the outer cover. Oop, I got one. That happens sometimes. Okay, well, I've done one hive. They're all checked out. The queen's released. You saw the box here. She was not inside. There's a worker in there right now. <laughs> or it might be an attendant bee. Could be an attendant bee. There it is. I'm gonna flip over. Here, fly, there you go. So here's the cage, it's empty. Now I'm gonna go to the next one and do that. So everything seems to be going well. I'm happy about what I see. You see they're busy coming in and out. They're bringing in pollen. They're drawing out the wax, which is good for the frames. That's great. And uh, we just let time do its thing. I'm waiting for my flowers to grow out here. I've been watering them. Sweet yellow clover and lupine. So give them plenty to eat, I hope, this summer. If they grow, if they bloom this season. We have to wait and see what's going to happen by the end of the summer. So you guys have a great day today. And I'll be back again another time to show you what kind of progress we're making. You all have a good day. Bye-bye.